So, in my quest to improve at chess, I find myself looking at a lot of Grandmaster games, and I think a common mistake a lot of people make when trying to improve at a video game or a board game or a sport or anything along those lines, a mistake they make is they look at the greatest players. They look at the two champions. Well, that happens a lot. However, I'd like to look at Gary Kasparov, who is, you know, on pretty much everyone's top three best chess players of all time list, versus J. Nunn. J. Nunn, I honestly do not know who this is. I'm sure they're quite excellent at chess because the game is in the database and uh, <clears throat> Gary Kasparov doesn't like to waste his time. Anyways, um, the point is, Gary Kasparov is going to win. Now, the point I'm getting at is, in order to improve, being able to exploit a player's weaknesses, being able to take advantage of opportunities is an important thing when it comes to improving at chess or anything. So, something I do when I'm trying to improve is look at these mismatched games and kind of see how the advantage is taken and then taken advantage of. Okay, so Kasparov opens with d4, then responds with the King's Indian, and we have the Fianchetto variation. Kasparov Fianchettos, develops his knight. Okay, so from this position, Kasparov makes a quite a genius plan right here. He um captures the pawn and then moves his knight over to e5. Now, the brilliancy of this plan is that he he's beginning his attack and he hasn't lost any material, wasted any tempos, and he's managed to defend this knight in an attacking position with a stable pawn that can't be attacked and the knight as well cannot be attacked because of this knight here on f6 so it's just a really elegant sort of subtle way to cause some trouble for the opponent and I believe that's quite instructive so pawn move defends this pawn and frees up the queen Kasparov castles knight moves to evict this knight now and let's take it back a, a move here um, from this position Nun not only had to deal with this threat but he had to cancel whatever his plan was waste a tempo and put the ball back in Kasparov's court just to deal with this knight threat here on e5 so Kasparov calmly kind of puts a pawn, another pawn behind this knight, captures towards the center. Now he has fantastic kingside space for for a very vicious attack. Uh, we got the bishop locking down on this nice diagonal. Um, this file right here is semi-open for the rook. And uh, Kasparov just has a lot of lot of future options so none brings out the knight probably to put yet another attacker on the square preparing this pawn move and now Kasparov with another brilliant plan um, moving his pawn to e5 I'm sorry to e4 he's baiting a pawn capture and after doing this he doesn't have to recapture right away develops his bishop defending the square and allows for the opponent to defend this pawn without recapturing because on passant attacking the bishop this threat can't be ignored and now Kasparov finally recaptures the pawn with the tempo. Just a brilliant plan and I mean it's completely instructive and textbook example of how to manage your tempos, how to gain tempos. So 
instead of passively moving back to the first for, to Black's first rank, he captures Kasparov's rook, and now Kasparov moves in with his queen on this beautiful open file. Um, some fantastic work here. Now Nun moves in, takes the pawn, and Kasparov isn't too worried about that. He responds with a pin on the queen. Now Nun defends the knight, and Kasparov gets his knight over here, all the way over to f5, putting another attacker on a square right near the king. So this is just a very devastating and decisive attack that Nun's going to have a very difficult time defending against. So Nun resigned. And I think that it's important to note that this move right here would have been an adequate defense that would have prevented that kind of a check. Um, these knight moves. But um, even, even though Kasparov is apparently down by one pawn, he actually has maybe a 2.5 pawn advantage from this position, according to Ribka. So... I mean, Nun <laughs> was, he, he's a very skilled player, and he he made the appropriate decision to resign, I believe, since Kasparov can, I mean, he's notorious for just holding a lead and just taking it to the finish. So, thank you for checking out this video, and uh, I hope you all learned uh, quite a bit about saving tempos.